This is Toast Training for table service, area navigation, table colors, moving tables. It is under operations, toast, normal operations, training number two. So we are going to talk about table colors, or excuse me, we're going to do area navigation first. I apologize. So <clears throat> you can see them at the top very clearly. Um, this is actually, I think, a little bit more clear than shows on the tablet that's sitting on the bar. But you have a tap room, a patio, an event space, and, and a bar. Um, we do this, one, so that we obviously know where all the drinks are going. Um, every table has a number. Everybody's sitting at that table. You can put as many tabs as you want as people who can sit at the table. But it just makes sure you know where everything is going. Um, it's also functionally set up so that you can reasonably see everything that you need to for a specific area. You are looking at three zones right now, or what we would call three zones. So on a busy night, we would assign people via zones. Um, all the tables down here with a one starting that zone one. Obviously, these tables are zone two, and then these over here are zone three. But from a toast perspective, they're all called um, the tap room, and uh, really that is a that is a good representation for their area. Then, if we move kind of in the same area, you have bar. Um, these are bar seats. We should be operating the exact same way that we do tables. We should be assigning um, tabs to chairs. If there are um, two people like sitting at 001 and 002 and they're uh, using one tab, you just choose you just choose one of the chairs and you leave the other one open. Um, they are a little difficult to select on, on this. Um, well, that's interesting. That's good. Ooh, I am on the wrong network. Um, zoom printed. That's probably going to keep coming up. Sorry. So uh, they're a little difficult to, to click on. Um, my fingers are big, and I need to make these a little bit bigger. It's really not intended for use on the Toast Go for these seats in particular. It's very easy to do on the actual Toast terminal that sits in the bar. Um, but nonetheless, I think I will make them a little bit bigger because I do often find myself using this to check someone out. And then you have something kind of unique and special here that the float should set up at the beginning of the um, should set up at the beginning of the shift, and that is those are our shift drinks. Um, <clears throat> all right, moving back to the building event space. Um, obviously, you've seen the orientation has changed. Um, so the event space, um, you would have been coming from the tap room through here. And then obviously this is our break room over here. And then it clearly says patio door over here. Uh, very important to just get yourself acquainted with all of these and really memorize where all these tables are. We've tried to organize them as logically as possible for patio. You then walk out the patio doors down here. I think this has been one of our, our biggest areas. It does specifically match uh, what the patio actually looks like. So this right here, this little rect small rectangle above, right above my finger, that is the um, the railing for the stairs. That's a yellow bollard over there, and these are the two yellow bollards over here. Um, and then obviously this is the exit over here. But you start with 501 in the corner. There's my finger. 501 in the corner. You go 502, 503, 504. 505, 506, jump over to 507, 508, 509, 510, 511, and then obviously 512 and 513. Um, it, it is an expectation that you memorize these tables. Um, sorry, like I said, this is going to keep happening because I'm not at the brewery right now. Um, sorry. So it, it is an expectation that that you memorize these these tables to make to make your service a lot easier. When going out to the patio, um, we do have a printout as you walk out the door. You, you can look at it, but I think it's just very good. You just start telling yourself the number when you, when you walk outside. All right. Um, let's see here. Next is table colors. So I set this up, and then one of the tables disappeared already. Obviously, here you can see um, red and yellow. 
and on the patio, you can see a gray. A gray is simply somebody else's table, meaning you did not um, open that table. You cannot see whether that table is held or whether everything's been sent. It just looks gray to you. If they transfer the table to you, um, then it would it would change colors. And if everything was good on it, meaning if the order had been sent, um, it would turn yellow, which is what 303 is. And then red, 304, is you've put an item in or you've started a tab, for instance, but you haven't sent it to the printer. Um, sometimes that's actually usable, though I don't know that I have that many examples. It could be that someone wants you to put a drink in um, but they're not quite ready for it yet, so they ask you to wait 10 minutes. Um, that would be something where, uh, you know, you could put it in and hit hold, and it wouldn't send it to the printer, and then if you remembered or you set, you know, a timer on your watch or something like that, 10 minutes you could come back. Um, also, if I feel like somebody is waffling back and forth about what they want, I will I will hold so that the printer doesn't get the order, and then I can go back and remove it before it ever gets sent um, just so that we kind of save ourselves all the issues with um, with getting uh, multiple orders that the person doesn't want. All right, the last one on here is moving tables and I am going to show you um, the, the easiest way to do it but unfortunately a way that has a, kind of a major flaw. So 303 is my table. It, it's gonna, I'm gonna drag it. It's gonna turn blue. It's hard to do, why? Okay, it turns blue, I'm moving it, and then I'm dropping it on 301. That wasn't the best visual. I think it's blue, moving to 303. It's not working very well. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get my fingers out of the way. There we go, kind of saw it there. So I'm moving this order back and forth. If you have a whole bunch of people that are at a table or just one person at a table, it really doesn't matter. You have a whole bunch of tabs, they will transfer extremely easily if you move them back and forth that way. Um, the, an issue arises when you move um, this table here into 303. So they are two separate tabs right now. And logically, I would like to combine them and keep them as separate tabs. So if I hit keep separate, checks are moved, that's great. Then I click on 303 and it does this though. Um, so what it did is it it moved them to the same table as separate tabs, but um, it keeps them as like completely separate items, almost as if there's like two tables at 303. So if you go into one, you, you, there's, there's no other tab. You can't see the other. You literally have to go back in, click 303 again, and then click on the other tab and then you can see it. And frankly, that's just, it's just quite dumb. Um, so the correct way to do that is, let's open another one here, to guess, go away, water, glass of water, we're gonna stay. So if I wanna move this into another table, I go into the order for that table, it's not what I wanted, I apologize. Change table, okay? And then it's gonna ask me which one I wanna to change to. I wanna to move it to 303. What would I like it to do? I can keep orders separate or I can move them into one of those orders. Well, I, I, want them to, I want them to move into the order, but what I want is multiple tabs. So I open this up. I'm gonna click on this top one. Um, that was the wrong choice. One more time. There we go. And now what you can see is I have two tabs. So if you have to move tabs um, if you have to move people from a table into a table where people already are, you must do it this way. Otherwise, it'll, it'll keep messing with you. So what I'm going to do is now fix this other one. And now I'm going to change table. And what's going to happen is, well, hopefully, once it was done again. Oh, it's really being stupid. 26. Change table, I want to move it to 303, keep it in there, rolling right now, there we go. Now I have three tabs at the bottom. So, simply put, if you are moving people from a table to a table where there's nobody at, I want to move 303 up to 301, 
you drag and drop as long as there's nobody at that other table, okay? If there is somebody at that other table, and you wanna move 301 into 303, there's three tabs here right now, you have to go into the order, you're gonna select all that are moving, which is all of them, and I'm gonna move them to 303. You don't wanna keep orders separate, you wanna move them into the order, and then what it does is it'll create tabs separate for everybody, and now there's four tabs in there.